Imagine using your palm to pay, or even your eyes. What sounds like science fiction has become reality, offering users the convenience of checking out without cash, cards, or phones. Chinese tech companies are leading the charge, and Singapore is the first stop on their global rollout. Ivy Chalk breaks down the latest in fintech and what's at stake. Simply look at a QR code and say yes to make a payment. These smart glasses embedded with payment solutions by Ant International were launched at the recent Singapore FinTech Festival. Featuring iris authentication and voice recognition software, it uses over 260 biometric points to verify identity and even includes liveness detection to make sure it's a real eye. When you like to grow up, right, so you look and feel may change and uh, your fingerprint may change, but the iris will never change. People may look similar with each other, right, so the voice may sound similar, but the, the iris texture is very diverse between different people. I think all those things combined together make the iris actually very safe. Such seamless payment methods are already being used in some places in Singapore, like Sentosa's Adventure Cove water park. Which payment mode you want to use for the payment? Uh, I want to use uh, Palm Pay. Can, no problem. Just a wave and the transaction is done. Ten cents Palm Pay relies on a user's handprint, vein patterns and even blood flow to ensure accuracy. Compared to pulling out your bank app or credit card, it can cut payment times by up to 80%. After successful trials, the system is now deployed in the Singapore Institute of Technology, with more use cases expected in the future. Currently, we are still in the midst of preparation to roll out this uh, to our local bank partners as well. So, which is why the pilot is important, because it allows us to iron out all the possible operational issues. Uh, because we don't just talk about it's new to the bank, it's new to the merchant front line. But what's the price of using such tech? Convenience could come at the cost of security. One observer says there's a need to further strengthen the regulations around such nascent technology. The whole push towards making it secure is going to be very critical, especially we are looking at identity of individuals, right? Uh, how do we make it more secure so that there's no identity fraud that comes on the back of it? Uh, how do we make it secure that uh, there's clear traceability that, that gets along with it? Uh, and there, there are options to deal with uh, when, when things go wrong, right? He adds that it's also important to ensure that such tech can work with other payment systems available. And along with the right safeguards, this could allow more to have a smoother and smarter payment experience.